It's your boy SS, man. I'm here with undergroundhiphopblog.com. I'm gonna give you a little bit about myself. Music for me has always been a passion. It's always been a way of expressing, you know, your feelings. However, uh, I really didn't pick it up until about my sixth year in prison. After that, I realized it was a way for me to escape all my pain. It was a way for me to push all my energy, negative, positive, whatever it was, out into the world. So since that moment, I've been focused on perfecting my craft. And uh, I personally feel like I'm not perfected yet, but we're almost there. So we're just driving and striving to get where we're trying to go. My definition of underground hip-hop is undergroundhiphopblog.com. And the reason I say that is because uh, me personally, I'm an artist that a lot of you may not know. However, I'm underground. And uh, this blog has given me a platform. So that right there in itself is the definition of underground hip hop. I personally feel like, man, I'm one of the illest MCs that you will ever hear from, not just on the West Coast, that's in general. However, you have to have a platform to be heard. Underground hip hop, this blog gives you that platform. For me, I'm gonna take it and run with it. So that's my definition of underground hip hop, the underdog, the one who has no one to give them the shot, but finally gets it and they take it. You can go on YouTube and look up my first video, Rodeo SS. Um, it's a positive message, not just for blacks, for minorities in itself. You know, it's, it's a wake up call for our streets. My album will have a lot of controversy. It will have a lot of trials, tribulation on it, man. It will have a lot of celebration at the same time. It's the year of the slaves and we're getting ready to take over. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter at SS underscore DA underscore great. I'd appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, man, I got a lot of fire in tune for you. Tap in. It's time. So the reason for me dropping Rodeo and the, and the motivation behind the song in itself is Ezel Ford, hits home directly with me. Ezel Ford was an African-American from Los Angeles, California. I not only knew Ezel Ford, I know Ezel Ford's family. And uh, it's just, it's no justice behind it. So me personally, that was my motivation behind writing the song. It was strictly so people could hear and understand that, man, this happens all the time. It happens behind doors, it happens on camera. And it doesn't matter, it's still no justice behind it. Out of all of these police brutalities, no matter who you name, Michael Brown, Alton Sterling, on and on and on and on, none of them have had justice. So for me, I felt like this is my way of bringing justice to our people. Like we have to stand together, we have to unite. And that's just not for African Americans, that's for all minorities in a whole, because we've all been through struggle. You know, I go through struggles all the time, being an African American from Los Angeles, California, you're gonna get stereotyped, it is what it is. And it's not just here in Los Angeles, California, it's pretty much in any state you go to. It's just the reality, man. If you're not making six figures, you're pretty much gonna be stereotyped in some shape or form. And for me, I feel like it's time that we put a stop to it. And that's my biggest motivation. My biggest motivation is that we all come together and realize, man, we got Donald Trump in office. And if we don't come together, you know what I mean? I don't know where we gonna go. And that's just the reality, man. And, and I, I feel for Puerto Rico and I feel for places that at the end of the day, they still going through it. The struggle is still real and nobody's talking about it no more. You know, we talking about Donald Trump on Twitter on whatever he on right now. And for me, it, it needs to stop. So let's take a stand. I mean, personally, man, I feel like Carson, Carson don't get enough credit, honestly. And, and it, it's just not for MCs, it's in general. You know, we, we got a bunch of athletes in general. You know, Robert Woods for the Rams doing his thing. He's from my hometown. It's a bunch of other people that I can mention. Absol, shout out to my bro. And uh, I personally feel like, you know, we're very talented. We have a lot of talent in the city and uh, we come in. And if you tap into my bio, if you tap into any link on me, you're going to see I pride myself in dropping nothing but fire, man. I try to make sure I got content with a message on every track I'm on. And uh, I got that from being from Carson, being a Delamo native. You know, we pride ourselves in speaking our mind. We pride ourselves in, uh, in being leaders, you know, and pushing and making sure that we set trends. And uh, I understand, you know, Compton is a big city. It's a lot of violence that goes on in Compton. It gets a lot of recognition, Long Beach as well. But, man, that happens everywhere. It don't matter where you're from. It don't matter where you go, man. You're going to see a struggle. You're going to go apart. You know, it's, it, it is what it is. And my struggle came from there, and it, it pushed me to be who I am, and it drives my fire now. So... That's the best way I can answer your question, man. Tap into Delamo, tap into Carson. We got talent, you know what I mean? It's your boy SS. Tap in. Find out who I am. 
It's your boy SS, man. Last but not least, I want to shout out Underground Hip Hop Blog for having us here, man. It's been a pleasure. Look out for what we got coming. Get with us.